back stitching and work on those. So I was happy to find that. They're really cute. So we may, we may do more of those. All right. So that was it. Um, framing comparison. I told you guys I was going to compare. Oh, one sec. Mm, I forgot haul. Be right back. Watch out for your tail, dear. Yeah. Watch out. Haul. Hmm? Fiberlicious. I love the Fiberlicious lady. I, I want to throw money. I'm going to throw money at her when she moves to California, and then she'll just send me stuff. You know, like some people say they do that with chatelaines or whatever, or needle minders. I'm going to do it with Fiberlicious. I'm just going to throw her money. Um, I got I got this a while ago, and I don't think I ever showed it. But um, this is one of her little smaller bags, and it fits my shades of indigo with room to spare. It's got a, a flat bottom so it's got plenty of room for the q-snap and the pattern and fabric and and fabric and pattern and the q-snaps and the threads and all of that oh and hey look i made my own yeah yeah i did you helped i made my own little thread organizer great so I'm gonna make some more of those and I like that you can make them just for the size that you need pretty cool so I got this and then I also I'm going to as, as if anybody didn't know I am going to be traveling to England next year and going to the Hague retreat there and I'm going to be taking my Excuse me, just a minute. Okay, you want to sit in there? There's nothing in there for you. I'm going to be taking my Four Seasons paid, which is large. And I'm hoping, I've got to get my suitcase out and measure and see whether my squirrel frames will fit in the suitcase if I take it all apart and I bubble wrap it. And I'm going to risk it taking that with me. But I'm going to take the threads and the piece off and I'm going to carry that with me um, not not in a check not in a check bag but so I wanted something that was going to be really cool once I got there to carry it in so I had Nguyen make me this isn't that gorgeous it is gorgeous I let her pick the fabric and then on the inside is a corresponding fabric but it's got a flat bottom which is about three to four inches it's got four or five pockets on the inside uh, two zippers on the top to close it all up and then nice handles that you can use like on your shoulder. I won't use it on the plane or anything, but I'll use it once I get once I get to the retreat. Um, it was not cheap, but the quality is wonderful. And I would I would consider buying more of these to um, keep all of my other ones just to keep them in when I'm not working on them because man, it's dusty here in Arizona. And uh, just to protect them. But I would definitely, I would definitely think about buying more of these. And she's such a nice lady that when she sent me that, she threw in a set of grime guards in the same fabric. So, uh, which are a little bit too big, but I think I'm just going to tie up the um, elastic in them and make them a little bit tighter and then I think they'll be okay. Um, but thank you Nguyen. 
the, these are wonderful and I love the quality and you'll be hearing from me. I know you're moving. I'm not going to try and order anything else now, but um, what is it, August 1st? I'll be there. So, okay. So, framing comparison price, framing prices comparison. Told you last time I was going to compare the pricing between one of my local framing stores, a family owned place, with Michael's and one of their, you know, 80% off sales. So I did that. I took my Celtic um, Christmas or Celtic Noel and I took them to Michael's, took her to Michael's first. And I asked no matting. I asked for a, a gold frame and then we decided on like a small little spacer that had little beads that go around the inside of the frame. They just gave me so it nothing nothing fancy and uh, no mats. Where's the price here? Okay. Before their their this was seventy five percent off one of their seventy five percent off sales. Before the discount, it was over four hundred dollars with the seventy five percent discount. It was. Their estimate was $180.67. So, okay. Fine. So then I took the same thing up to my local frame place. Now, granted, it's not the same exact frame. But it's... I was there both times. It was similar and similar size. And... Their total price was $213. And she gave me 50% off the price of the frame. So for a total price of $156, their regular price. So it was $30 less than Michael's sale. Um, so, obviously, it wasn't the exact same frame, but, hey, it was close enough. I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference now. So, just, just so you know, just because Michael's or Joanne's or somebody is having a sale does not mean that that's the lowest price you're going to be able to get. If you... And all of these, every place was really happy just to give me an estimate and didn't expect me to leave my work there today. Michael's even printed out a picture of it with the price right on it. And they said it would be good for, oh, I, it doesn't say here. Printed estimates are valid for 14 days. So you can do that with them anytime and then go someplace go to other framing places and check them out and see if they've done this one i know has done needlework before so um i i felt comfortable leaving it and they're the ones that did my chatelaine too and so i've also left i'm not i'm leaving i left that one that, that's almost done i talked to them today uh, they actually called me and asked me if they could change the frame size a little bit because they thought it would work better. And I just went ahead and said, I, I'm going to just trust your judgment. You go ahead and do whatever you think is, is good. So it'll be ready in a couple of days, and then I will show you guys that FFO. So just a word to the wise. Don't automatically assume that the big box stores are cheaper because sometimes they're not. So... Um, I think that's about it. Was that it? My goodness, I thought I had a lot more than that. I guess not. <sighs> My cat's hiding in the closet, in the cabinet. There's nothing in there for her. 
but since we moved us into this room, she has decided that that's her spot. And every time we come in here, she cries at the door. Okay, you done there? Did you find anything interesting? I guess not. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go. Everybody have some happy stitching time this weekend. I hope you do anyway. Maybe it'll keep raining and I'll have an excuse not to go anywhere and I can just stitch this weekend. Um, next time, and Lord, I hope it's more than, it's sooner than this one was because this was like five, five, six weeks. I, I try to do them sooner, but I got to get the hubs out of the house before I can do it. Um, I think I'll show you some of the ones that I've, uh, some of the needlework pieces I've done in the past. Um, I'll pull some of those out. I don't have a whole lot because I used to be just a one at a time person, but you guys have ruined me. So, uh, which I love. I love all my stuff. I went through a bunch of my stuff last night and I can't decide what I want to do next. Like I need another start, but I probably will end up with one anyway. So I'll let you guys go. Happy stitching. Love what you stitch and stitch what you love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.